Hi right, guys, a great optimization for screen space overlay canvases in Unity. Check this out. So if you are rendering something off screen, it still dirties the canvas and it still does all of the work required and the logic and stuff. So if I actually unpause my game here, you'll see what I mean. Um, it will produce uh, 64 people. Waiting for that now. And I'll pause it now. And now when I go to the scene view, you can see that actually every one of these people has a health bar and some text. And there's lots of them all over, miles away, 64 of them off screen. So not ideal, is it? Um, not for performance anyway. So um, if we look at the frame debugger, we can actually see here that it takes 130 calls to the graphics card to render all of these help bars and texts above them. And if we go down, you can see it's doing a lot of work, but it's all off screen. See a little bit on screen there. It's all off screen. It doesn't need to be done. It's ridiculous. 100 and what was it? 130 calls. Okay, and that's for an item I call a floating bar, right? So I defined a method called I'm on screen in the floating bar. The moment it just returns true for the for the demonstration, show you what it was like before the optimization. But if I turn that off, you can see that literally all I need to do here is get the screen bounds, which I don't even need to do in here. I should do that outside of this method, but I've just been working on this for hours. And literally just say if the screen bounds contains the rect position of what I'm on, right? So it's a, um, it's a rect transform of a floating bar, right? So one of these, so you can see it has a rect transform, and you can see that the code can go, okay, if you're off screen, then toggle visibility, i.e. turn you off, right? If you're on screen, turn you on. Also, if you're not on screen, then, you know, you don't need to do any of the logic in, in update, and you don't need to do any of the logic in late update, which is coded to so that the, the bar follows around the guy above his head. So you can bail from late update, you can bail from update, this is the one I've had, and you can turn off the object, which means you don't dirty the canvas, you don't do any logic, and you don't follow the character around. So with the bad optimization off, I will, uh, I mean, with the optimization now on, I will uh, run it again. Give me one second. Okay, it's loading again. So, what this means is this time it'll only render to the canvas what is on screen. And none of the logic will be done, and none of the following the players will be done. But as you can see on screen, there's only one, two, three, four, five people. Yes? Let's have a look at the uh, oops, frame debugger again. Uh, it's a bit strange because the resolution is so weird on, on these screens that they're different. And apologies for the sound, by the way. I'm on my laptop, and this, this laptop appears to have pretty awful sound, but we'll enable uh, that. Uh, I can't bring it up. It's a problem I've had for a long time on this laptop. Give me uh, another second. Okay, finally. So now you can see that on the same call here to render overlays, there's only eight calls instead of 130. And as you can see, they're all just doing stuff on screen which is what you want right each one of them is completely relevant nothing is off screen and that only renders eight instead of 130 which also lowers the logic calls and everything 
by 130 and should help you optimize anything on your screen space canvas which is off screen there's no need to render it and there's no need to do the logic if you don't want to and the, the solution is as simple as that there check the screen bounds and see if the screen bounds contains the requisition and if not turn it off if it does turn it on it's amazingly simple but actually that's just taking me about five hours to work out because you keep looking on the web and there's no clear solution certainly not for screen space canvases anyway that's just a little uh, another optimization tip for canvases i'm battling my way through this sort of stuff to make it run fast on the nintendo switch thanks for watching guys